Oh hey there, welcome to another episode of Comedy Kitchen. My name is Ben, and today we have a fan-requested segment. We're gonna talk about Pringles. Regular potato chips are very thin slices of potatoes that are then deep fried and hit with salt and flavors. Pringles are actually a bunch of ingredients mixed together and then sort of pressed and cut into that duck bill type of shape. It's kind of like the Frankenstein of chips. Well, I guess not Frankenstein, the Frankenstein's monster. I don't remember what his name was. Darren, maybe? The formula for Pringles needs to be very precise and specific because you can't have a range of size and shapes. It's gotta all be exactly the same. And the way to control that is with a very specific formula and a lot of processing. All right, let's take a look at the ingredients of Pringles. We have dried potatoes, vegetable oil, degerminated yellow corn flour, cornstarch, rice flour, maltodextrin, mono and diglycerides, salt, and wheat starch. I don't even know why I'm here right now. You guys know what all that is, right? They're using dried potatoes instead of regular potatoes. It's kind of the first uh, ingredient in their mixture of stuff. Processed, but maybe not overly so. It's pretty simple. Vegetable oil, obviously these are being deep fried. Degerminated corn flour, yum. Right? So there's three parts to corn. There is the bran, the germ, and the endosperm. <laughs> so the germ has uh, some vitamins, but it also has oil in there. Oil goes rancid. It's just gonna be a mess. So you get that out of there. Hull has all the fiber. Fiber is great, but a little hard to work with. Not a very clean, simple, functional ingredient. Get it out of there. Then you're left with the endosperm, which is basically just the starchy part of the corn. So basically you have taken corn and you have removed all of that disgusting nutritional value and you're just left with starch. Because they're not using whole potatoes in this recipe, it's this blend of all this different stuff. The starches are kind of to bind and to hold everything together. They kind of have a gelling property. I think that's kind of why when you bite down down on a Pringle, it kind of gels in your mouth a little bit, right? I'm not really sure what the rice flour is used for in Pringles, to be honest. Probably cheap, and it's not super processed, so it's probably just a very easy ingredient to put into your chips, and I'm sure there's some functionality aspect of it that's beyond me. If you think you might know what rice flour is used for in this recipe, leave a comment and uh, let us know. Maltodextrin is sort of a very, very processed starch that is used widely in the processed food industry. It improves texture, it's used for a number of different functionality things, and it's kind of used as a little bit of a sweetener as well. My guess is in Pringles, it's kind of used to balance out the flavors, but also give it the sort of perfect texture that the folks over there at Pringles want their product to have. It's very cheap, very processed, and it's not necessarily proven to be super bad for you, but it's not something that I really want any part of personally. So we talked about mono and diglycerides in the last episode of What's in Your Processed Foods, but I think they play a slightly different role in these Pringles. So they're fat-based, and we all know fat kind of helps prevent things from sticking, just like it would when you're cooking food in your own home. When you're processing something, it's got to go through quite a lot of levels of machinery and metal and plastic. I think the mono and diglycerides in this case are kind of preventing the slurry, all this stuff from sticking to the various bits of metal and plastic as it moves its way down the line and through packaging and all of that. The last two ingredients are salt and wheat starch. We already talked about wheat starch and salt is just salt. Basically, Pringles are all of these ingredients that have been separated into these functional components and then put back together again to form a completely new product. It's like a really weird puzzle, kind of. For me, I believe in sort of a whole food diet as you've probably seen if you've watched my channel before and Pringles, a little bit strange to me in that sense. So in conclusion, once you pop, you may wanna stop. I would recommend stopping. And with that said, uh, next week's video is actually gonna be another fan requested segment, and I'm gonna talk about the healthiest chips. Also, hey, you guys, last week's video, I officially announced I am working as a food coach. So there's a link below. You can schedule a free consultation with me. I am able to work remotely. So make sure to tune in next week, uh, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.